Hi, I'm Jim. Welcome back to Jim's Adventures. Uh, today we're going to continue um, our discussion on this stump behind me and how it's a metaphor for some of the things I'm going through spiritually and mentally and, and life issues and how this tr this dead tree represents you know trauma or things inside of us emotional issues that we're going through and uh, that you know to make a clean slate and a clean space and start over we got to dig this stump up we got to dig all these problems out but there's also all these roots and we've talked about the roots that these roots you can see behind me there's all these roots that go in and these roots just go deep 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 so it's not just what you can see on the top the tip of the iceberg you know you also have to uh, start digging up the roots and that's what we're doing so this is a, as we dig up this tree and and try to figure a way to get rid of this this big huge tree and all these stumps and then we're gonna you know put some fresh dirt down and sand and stuff so that the grass will grow back and then we'll have a beautiful grass just like the rest of the yard here in Mississippi um, it's hot and humid as always but uh, yeah let's get started so uh, let's talk about this a little bit So once again, you know, we started yesterday, uh, we started digging up the, the roots and that's what we're looking at here. There's a root that goes all the way from this tree. It's pretty big. Um, you can see all the roots going everywhere here. So we gotta dig all those roots up. We're gonna dig around this tree stump and we're going to light a fire under it and start to burn it and slowly uh, take care of this, this tree and also the root system. So once again, it's like a root canal. Um, when you have all these problems in your life, they go deep, deep, deep. When you have issues that are affecting you today, uh, trauma, it goes really, really deep, 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 just like these, these dead roots do. And we've got to dig all this stuff up. You got to go in your past and dig these up slowly. You got to be patient. You got to love yourself and, and give yourself patience. But today what we're going to do is we are going to drill some holes in this tree. Tree, tree stump. So I'm going to get a drill and we're going to drill a whole bunch of holes and then we're going to fill these holes with some sort of fuel and light it on fire. And what that's going to do is it's going to start to slowly weaken this tree from the top. So once again, we're, we're, we're trying to dig holes and dig under the problem. So basically we're doing 360. We're going to handle, we're going to dig under this tree and deal with the problem. We're going to top the top of the tree, the sides of the trees and deal with the roots. And um, I'm trying to do it, you know, I'm just doing it in a, not necessarily any, there is method to the madness, but there's not really like uh, steps here other than, um, you know, we're doing it a little bit at a time and just, there's no hurry. Just like in your life, your problems, there's no hurry to deal with your problems. You just take it day by day and uh, help. But we're gonna, right now we're gonna drill as many holes as we can into the stump. Then we're gonna fill it with some sort of fuel and light it. And that's gonna start to weaken the stump a little bit from the top and the sides. And uh, that's what we're doing today. All right, let's do it. So um, today all we need is my gloves, this extension cord, and a drill and then we'll also find some fuel i think uh kerosene would work good i'm gonna get some kerosene but i think i have a little bit of, to get it started today we're gonna start with gasoline and then i'll try to find some kerosene and uh, we'll slowly start to get this tree deteriorated from the top but those are the tools we're gonna need so let's go ahead and set that up okay we've got our extension cord hope you guys can see this and see me there's our extension cord let me get the drill uh, so just like a dentist has to do a root canal, um, that's kind of, you know, we got to dig out the roots and stuff. We're not necessarily digging out roots, but it's kind of, the analogy kind of works because we're digging, using a drill to dig out some of this tree so that we can start to deteriorate and get rid of the things. So I've got a drill here, got my extension cord. Um, let's just start drilling. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the outer rim of these top of the stump and do a circle. And then I'll do another, go to the next, do a circle. So just like this tree has tree ling, rings, I'm going to do tree, basically I'm going to do rings of uh, drill holes. So all the way around at 360. And we'll just keep doing those until I get to the middle. And so basically there'll be, you know, a lot of uh, drill holes in this and hopefully it'll go pretty quick. Let's do it. So as I'm drilling, I got to drill a little bit and then the wood gets around the drill bit so it keeps it from cutting because the wood gets into the cracks of the drill bit. So every couple of seconds I have to pull it out and really, you know, get all that wood off of it and then I go. So it takes a few, each one's going to take a second because we've got to pull it out a few times and, and get, get all that stuff out of there so the drill bit can, the cutting parts of the drill bit can keep cutting. So that's what's going on right now. Okay, 
So that other drill was that I, I was using a different drill. So I found a bigger drill with a bigger bit. So this is a much bigger drill, a lot more powerful. It also has a bigger bit. So we're just gonna try this sucker. I hate modern drill bits. They're round, rounded, and they don't hold the drill bit that comes out. Um, some drill bits have a like a recess thing that helps hold the drill bit. But these new drill bits suck. I'm gonna try to take this down. All right, let's see if that works. So we got some done, not much, but you can see we got some holes there, um, some holes around here, starting to get holes in it. I'll show you guys what it looks like. So that's what we're doing right now. All right, let's keep it going. <laughs> so I took a break because my phone was overheating and my phone stopped working. Um, but, uh, so I wanted to tell you guys, uh, another thing in this process of healing is you gotta let people help you. Um, if people are willing to help you and they're sincere, let them, because we need each other, guys. Um, a few minutes ago, one of my neighbors, uh, my parents' neighbor, this is my house, my parents' house, one of the neighbors, his name is Mr. Harper, he came by and dropped off a chainsaw. Um, my dad has a chainsaw, but it was, it needed a tune-up and the shop was backed up right now a couple of weeks so they couldn't get to it and I really needed a chainsaw so he stopped by and asked me what I needed and um and loaned me the chainsaw for a couple of days so honestly sometimes when you're you're going through things you need help and when someone offers you help take it if they're sincere and they mean it take it and um, um, thank them because we need people okay we need each other so um I'm gonna keep going let's keep going sorry I'm getting emotional I'm I'm emotional right right now guys so I apologize if I get emotional it's because I got a lot of stuff inside of me which is the whole reason we're doing this uh, working on this tree is helping me deal with my emotional stress it's also uh, you know using it as a metaphor to show you guys how to deal with your emotional stress so I appreciate you guys let's keep going Mushroom got me tripping.